Now labeled as the most decisive player in football, Vinicius has done more than raise a few eyebrows. With his recent successes, no doubt placing him amongst the elite, we will be taking a deep dive into his career, net worth, and more. This is the lifestyle of Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. was born in July 2000 in the city of Sao Gonçalo, Brazil. Nicknamed Vini, the young Brazilian would begin his journey at the tender age of six, signing up for the well-renowned football club Flamengo. Due to his poor upbringing, he would be subject to financial aid immediately after signing on. Despite the difficult circumstances, Junior had his sights set on becoming a global superstar. He would later pass the football test at Flamengo in August 2010. Vinicius debuted for Flamengo on the 13th of May 2017. He would score his first goal during a cup competition in August, followed by his first league goal that same month. Clearly talented, Vini would receive a contract extension at Flamengo with a significant salary increase. However, this was not enough. In July 2018, at just 18 years of age, Vini would transfer to the most successful club in the world, Real Madrid. For a reported fee of 46 million euros, this would make him the second most expensive player in Brazilian football history, only behind fellow countryman Neymar. Vini would make his debut on the 29th of September 2018, making a cameo against big rivals Atletico Madrid. Coming off the bench again, Vini would score his first goal against Real Valladolid in November. He would hit the target a further three times before suffering a huge injury setback against Ajax in March. After his return, Vini would endure two testing years. Only scoring 11 goals in 87 games, he was still finding his feet. Taking what he had learned, Vini would make his breakthrough during the 2021-22 season. His output would improve dramatically, scoring his biggest career goal in May of that season. This goal would prove the difference against big European rivals Liverpool. Winning 1-0, Vinicius would help Rio claim a record 14th Champions League trophy. He would not only finish the season winning the Champions League and La Liga, but also with a personal best of 22 goals in all competitions. On the international stage, Vinicius would start his career by winning the South American U15's championship in 2015. He was the second top scorer with seven goals in the competition. He would later compete in the same competition for the U-17s. Despite Brazil only finishing third, he would be named the tournament's best player. These performances would later validate a call-up to the first team. Junior would make his senior debut for Brazil on the 10th of September 2019. Struggling to replicate his form, he would only recently score his debut goal in March 2022. Despite not breaking into the first team on the 5th of December, Vini would still manage to score his first World Cup goal against South Korea in the round of 16. Vinicius has always shared a special bond with his family. The Real Madrid superstar regularly posts them on his Instagram account. The family is so close, in fact, that Vini's uncle, Ulysses, took care of his nephew from a very young age. This was at a time when Junior's parents were struggling financially. His selflessness proved crucial for Junior's development at Flamengo, with the added security helping him progress quickly through the ranks. With a clear love of his family, Vinicius has started his own, taking care of two beautiful children. Vinicius is also supported by his beautiful girlfriend, Maria Mazzilli. The two met in early 2019, despite dismissing the rumors. She has often been spotted in the stands of the Bernabeu to support the talented Vinicius. Yet, Maria didn't gain fame from dating the Real Madrid star. She already had many Instagram followers beforehand, mainly through her influencer content on fashion and traveling. Her content proved so successful, in fact, that she was made a brand ambassador for the established Fashion Nova. With so much success already, it's not surprising that Vinicius has treated himself to a range of flashy cars, one of which is the Audi A7. This particular model showcases a unique design with many luxurious features. It's not so short on power, too. With a total of 335 brake horsepower, Junior's A7 can reach top speeds upwards of 250 kilometers an hour. Costing only $72,000, it's hard to believe that this is the only budget vehicle in his collection. 
a fan of Audi, he has also acquired their new Audi e-tron Sportback. Despite owning the classic Range Rover Sport, as every footballer does, Vinicius is often seen driving this SUV. It may be an environmentally friendly car, but it does not compromise on style. Fitted with a traditional SUV grille, LED headlights, and showcasing a range of innovative technologies, Junior's Audi e-tron is one of the most advanced cars money can buy. Sure, he has a love for Audi, but what about his new Lamborghini Urus? By far the most expensive vehicle in his collection, this pumped-up SUV costs a whopping $250,000. The twin-turbocharged V8 produces a staggering 641 brake horsepower and reaches a top speed of 304 kilometers an hour. This makes it faster than Vinicius himself, but after all, it is a Lamborghini. Overall, Vinicius' car collection is worth a sizable $408,000. Despite his recent successes, the young forward is also building a legacy for himself off the pitch. Vinicius has recently set up his own organization known as the Instituto Vini Jr., aiming to use technology and sport to educate young Brazilians. Vini's institution is helping to create more equality and diversity in his home country. Once a poor child himself, Vini knows the difficulties of affording an education. So, taking action, he has developed an education app called Base, an app that uses football as a means of engaging children. As the sole investor of this company, he has spent nearly $2 million to get this off the ground. Launched in his old school in Rio, Vinicius has plans to expand the app further this year. As a Brazilian-born footballer, Vinicius has performed many provocative goal celebrations. This has caused the issue of racism to resurface on many occasions. In January this year, he was subject to racist chants before and during the La Liga trip to Atletico Madrid. After the match, the police launched an investigation after images surfaced of a Vinicius Jr. doll. Atletico responded immediately condemning the actions and labeling them as shameful. Real Madrid would even threaten legal action after the president of the Spanish Association of Football Agents, Pedro Bravo, suggested that Vinicius should stop acting the monkey. Pedro would immediately apologize for the use of the words, but unsurprisingly, a lot of backlash would follow. During this uncomfortable time, many players from across the world offered their support to Vinicius. Brazilian legend Pela would also weigh in, stating that racism will not stop us from smiling. Currently, Vinicius ranks as one of the most expensive players in the world. Worth 120 million euros, he is amongst the top three market value players, only behind Mbappe and Haaland. He also earns an astonishing 400,000 euros per week, ranking him as the eighth highest paid La Liga footballer. With his substantial earnings already, it comes as no surprise that Vinicius holds a series of pricey endorsements, one of which is the leading sportswear brand Nike, the deal holding an estimated value of 7.32 million euros per year. This was until fairly recently, however, when Vinicius would terminate the contract that would have lasted until 2028. According to reports, he was extremely frustrated with the company after they left him out of a Brazil advert during the 2022 World Cup. To signify his irritation, Junior would wear old Nike boots, later deciding to end his relationship after nine years. Apart from that, Vinicius has also joined fellow countryman Neymar in advertising the classic watch brand Gago Milano. Putting it all together, Vinicius Jr.'s net worth would come to an estimated 36 million euros in 2023. 